The Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment, or AEWE, is an Army Futures Command annual soldier touchpoint hosted by the Maneuver Center of Excellence. It informs project convergence, MDO required capabilities, current modernization requirements, and future concepts. Hello, I'm Major General Curtis Buzzard, Commanding General of the Maneuver Center of Excellence and Fort Moore. This year, we're again proud to have hosted AWE as a critical soldier touchpoint and key event in our Army's path of persistent experimentation. AWE 2024 built upon previous learning conducted at Fort Moore, such as the Human Machine Integration Summit. And together with our partners from allied armies, industry, and our Army Science and Technology offices, AWE provided Army Futures Command with critical analysis and insights on how best to support the continuous transformation of the maneuver force to always ensure that we're successful in the crucible of ground combat. The overarching study objective of AEWE 2024 was enhancing small unit lethality through robotic enabled maneuver. Findings from this year's AEWE will also inform the HMI campaign of learning. Goals of robotic integration include enhancing lethality, increasing situational awareness with sensors and artificial intelligence, and offloading supplies and equipment to make the soldier's fighting load lighter. An emerging mantra as the Army iterates trials to make first contact with robotics, thus enhancing survivability. Now in its third decade of providing modernization analytics, AEWE serves as a risk reduction event for Army priority programs where iterative looks over time are critical for spiral development and incubation of capabilities. Rarely is a concept or technology ready for fielding in its initial form. AEWE can and has served as a gateway to project convergence and formal operational tests. AEWE examined several counter UAS systems designed to defeat threat UASs and informing Army concepts. The experiment soldiers are at the center of the AEWE project. This year, the Maneuver Center of Excellence's A Company, 1st Battalion, 29th Infantry Regiment, known as the Army's X-4, was augmented by other U.S. and Allied soldiers. The British Army contributed an infantry platoon from the Yorkshire Regiment, and the Dutch Army also participated with a platoon from the 13th Light Armored Brigade, with an embedded German Army squad a scout platoon from 2-2 Infantry, 10th Mountain Division, also joined the experiment team. The unique insights provided from our allies increase our understanding of tactics, techniques, and procedures to seamlessly collaborate at the tactical edge. This year, the Maneuver Battle Lab included a constructive simulation experiment in conjunction with the AEWE live event. Commanders and staff from 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division, participated in the constructive simulation portion of AEWE to gain insights on the integration of emerging technologies to achieve decision dominance and examine capabilities and concepts designed to inform AFC's project convergence and human-machine integration efforts with capabilities that support enhanced lethality and ISR. The constructive simulation specifically explored ISR platforms aerial delivered lethality solutions, survivability capabilities, and other capabilities that enhance the infantry formation. The Maneuver Battle Lab simulation enabled cross-venue learning on multiple capabilities that were explored in both live events and in constructive simulations at a scale unachievable live. AEWE 2024 continued Battle Lab learning on armed UAS from previous experiments and the HMI Summit. Live experimentation in AEWE is providing the Army alternatives to evaluate, thereby informing required capabilities for future program of record systems. As AEWE drew to a close with the final after-action reviews, and we bid farewell to our visiting participants, the X-4 was already preparing for the next phase of iterating small unit experimentation. They are deploying to the National Training Center to participate in Project Convergence Capstone 4 to expand the Army's knowledge base on human-machine integration. I want to thank all of our participants this year. We cannot modernize alone. It is a team effort. If you haven't been involved in AWE previously, I'd like to encourage you to bring us your ideas, your innovations, and help us keep our Army and our allies the greatest force for freedom on Earth.